Today we're making my most popular beanie this season. It's the Candy Cane Lane beanie. It's a great last minute Christmas present. It only takes a half an hour to an hour to make. And it comes in two different versions. We have a red palm on top or the white palm on top. It takes one skein of yarn and it's a great last minute holiday gift because it only takes between a half an hour and an hour to make. And by the way, all of my beanies, including this one, are for sale for 30% off in my store. There's a link down in the description if you want to purchase. And for $5, I have the pattern for the baby, child, small, medium, adult, and today we're doing the medium, large, adult. Subscribe for more crochet and crafting videos. So this is the Candy Cane Lane beanie with the white palm. This is an adult, small, medium size. Today I'm going to show you how to make an adult, large size. I'm also going to make it with a red palm today, but you can do it either way. If you want to make it with a white palm, you start with the red on top. If you want to do it with the red palm, you start with the white on top. So let's get started. We're going to use Wool Ease Thick and Quick yarn. It's in the color Red Beacon. Now, if you can't find this yarn, you could find this color. I think it's called Fisherman. And then just do a regular red color. But if you can get your hands on this, it's really, really cute. So for this project, you'll need the Wool Ease yarn. You'll need a full skein of that. You'll need a nine millimeter hook, an eight millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a jumbo palm maker. Since we're making the beanie with the red palm today, we're gonna start with the white. So we'll just remove the outer layer. And this is a lefty tutorial, so if you'd like the righty tutorial for this video, there's a link down in the description. We're gonna make a magic ring. So what I do is I rest the yarn on three fingers and then wrap it around pointer finger once and then twice. Gonna take the back loop, put it over the front loop. And then one more time, take the back loop, put it over the front loop and bring it down. And then you can pull it snug so we have an attached end and then a cut end. I always flip it down and then we're gonna work in the loop through this side. So with the nine millimeter hook, we're gonna go through the loop and we're gonna pull up a loop and then we're going to chain two. Okay, and then we're gonna do nine more double crochets. So if you count the first chain two, there will be 10 total or a chain two with nine double crochet. So counting the first chain, one, two, three, four, Sometimes I pull the tail in just a little bit, so it's a little easier to hang on to. So just a reminder, this is the adult size large. If you want to make a small medium or a child or baby size, I have a link to my patterns down in the description. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. So counting the first chain two, you should have 10 total. So chain two with nine double crochets. Then we're gonna pull this end tight and we're gonna go in to see the first chain right here. We're gonna go into both of those loops and pull through like so. Okay, so that's round one. Now for round two, we're going to chain two and then we're going to do two double crochets in each chain around and we're doing back loop double crochets, double crochet for one and two in the same stitch, double crochet one, same stitch, two. double crochet in the next stitch. Just a note here, I'm doing back loop double crochets. I like the look of it. It gives it a ribbed like honeycomb look. I think it's really cute. So we're just continuing two double crochets in each stitch in the round. And then repeat and I'll meet you when it's time to join. Okay, I just finished. I always go back and count at this point because I don't count as I go. I watch Netflix, if we're being completely honest. So I have a chain two and then you count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
14, 16, and you should end up with 18. So we are doing back loop stitches, except for when we join, we're gonna go in the front loops like so. It just gives it like a nice seamless join, and you can see these stitches continue around in a circle. So it just gives a nice finish to it. It's really pretty. All right, so first three rows are in this cream color. So we're gonna do two, chain two, and we're still doing double crochets all the way around. We're gonna do one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, and repeat that pattern all the way around. So this one is the trickiest one. It's kind of hard to get your hook into these loops right here, but I like to do the back two loops. So sometimes you have to do a little convincing to get your hook through there. We're gonna do one here. And these are all double crochets and then two double crochets in the next stitch. Two. One in the next stitch. And then two in the following stitch. one and then two in the next stitch now this is pretty repetitive pretty easy but here's where it gets a little challenging i'm coming up on my red yarn so i'm going to cut this we'll give it a little trim here because we're going to need to continue with some of the white so I just roll this up. We'll use it for another part of the beanie or for the palm on top, but either way, we're gonna use every last little bit of this skein of yarn. So let's just wrap it up and get it ready to use. And I'm just gonna wrap it until I find that creamy white color. Okay, we're there and I'll show you how to join this. We'll leave the candy cane color up there. Now to join, I'm going to take the new yarn and tie a knot around the old yarn we were just using, pull it through, give it a little tug. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the old yarn, tie it around the new yarn just in a regular knot, pull it through. And then you'll pull the ends and then you have a nice snug knot that's not going anywhere. Cut off the ends and you can cut this pretty close. And there you go. So we'll continue Wherever you end up running out of yarn, it will be different for every skein. I ended on my two double crochets, so we have a single. So we have one double crochet in the next one. I'm always gonna keep this knot to the back somehow. So I'm getting to the point here where I'm looping around. So I'm gonna finagle the knot to the back and just kind of hold it in place. So while we're crocheting, we keep it in the back so it won't pop through because that doesn't look very good if it were on the outside of the hat. So always try and keep the knot toward the back. And you just continue in that pattern, one double crochet, and then two double crochet in the next back loops. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of this row and we'll switch to the candy cane color. Okay, we're finished with round three. It's time to join, but we're gonna bring in the candy cane color for round four. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna go in the first two loops, but instead of pulling our white color through, we're going to pull our candy cane through, and then there you go. And then we're gonna tie the two cut ends together. I like to do this now, just get it all cleaned up. I never want to go back and 
tie stuff in at the end. So always, always prefer just to get this done right away. I do a double knot and then another knot from the other direction. And sometimes I'll be fancy and I'll separate the yarn and then tie these ends together. It just gives it a little extra security. So that's not gonna go anywhere. But you'll probably get by with just the double knot. And it'll probably be just fine. And then we just clip off the ends. And then we'll continue row four with the candy cane color. Just like before, we're going to chain two. Now the pattern for row four is the same thing as before. We're doing double crochets, but we're doing it in a pattern of one, one, and two. One, one, and two, and repeat all the way around. So one double crochet. This one's always tricky. Okay, here's one. And then one in the next loop. And then we're gonna do two in this next chain here. Okay, and again, we're doing one double crochet, one double crochet in the next loop, and then two double crochets. And then we'll continue. I'll do it one more time. One, one, and then two double crochets. Right about here, I'll go back and count, and make sure I did it right so I don't have to redo it later. One, one, and two. One, one, and two. One, one, and two. So keep going around and I'll meet you when it's time to join. All right, now it's time to join. We're going to stick with this color. Just make sure you go back and count one, one, and two, one, one, and two, etc., all the way around. I'm going to join the same way we did before. Go in both of the front loops, pull through, and then chain two. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth chain, we're going to do two double crochets. So we're going to increase just a little bit on this beanie. So We'll count one, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth chain, we'll do two. One, double crochet, and two, double crochet. I wear both a small medium and a medium large beanie. I have a lot of hair, so I like to make the larger ones sometimes when I'm having a fluffy hair day. Um, then we're gonna continue. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and then two in the sixth. And we'll continue that all the way around. One, two, oopsies, three, four. And then two in the sixth chain. And then continue, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth, two double crochets, and I'll meet you when it is time to, um, actually, well, I'm about to run out of my candy cane yarn and I'm definitely going to need some more to finish this round. So I have to go through and see where the white connects with the candy cane color. So just going to wrap this up because we're definitely going to use it later. Just 
keep wrapping till we come across the candy cane lane. Now, if you're using two separate colors, you don't have to do this part, but I really like the striped colors here. It looks pretty. Now, just like before, we're going to tie a knot around the yarn we're working with, with our new yarn. And then we'll take the end of our old yarn and we'll tie a knot around the new yarn. Pull tight and then pull the ends and it'll be nice and snug. And just clip them off. And I'll show you one more time how to keep the knot to the back so it's not showing on the front of your work, which makes sense. I think that's intuitive for most people, but um, actual doing it is a little confusing. So what are we at? I um, Let me make sure I have my stitches right. One, two, three, four, five, double on six. One, two, three, four, five, double on six. One, two. Okay. Three. All right, so this one's gonna be pretty easy. I just kind of hold it back as we make the next stitch. When you're pulling through, just make sure it's toward the back and you should be good. So it's popping out, but in the back so you can't see it. Where's my double? One, two, three, four, five, and then two. In six. One and two. All right, and we'll just repeat that until it's time to join. Okay, we've made it all the way around, and now it's time to join. We're going to change colors. So let's bring in the white color. We can cut off the end here. And if you're making a beanie with a white topper, you can just do the opposite color-wise of this, but we're gonna go through the first two loops and we're gonna pull through our new color. Keep it nice and snug and do a slip stitch there. Before we move on, I like to tie the cut ends together. I'm gonna do one knot and then a double knot. I'm gonna split the yarn and then tie the smaller strands together. Again, this isn't necessary, but if you've ever had a beanie come unraveled, I like just the little extra security, especially this is an order, so I want to make sure it's never going to come apart. So I just do a double knot with the separated yarn and then cut it off and it feels nice and secure. Lovely, lovely. And then the next two rows, we're just going to do a double crochet in each back loop. Um, First, we're going to chain two. Let's not forget a step. And then we're doing double crochets all the way around. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth row. Before I was able to finish the two rows here, I ran out of this yarn. So I'm gonna wrap the candy cane yarn again until I come up to the cream color, and then I'm going to attach that just like I did before. Second verse, same as the first. So if you were able to attach your yarn before, you'll be able to attach it again. But I will show you how to do it again just you know, why not? We're here when in Rome. So, new yarn ties a knot around the old yarn, like so. And then the old yarn, the loose end, ties itself around the new yarn. 
pull the ends and there you go easy peasy that should never go anywhere trim the ends and then continue with rows six and seven and I'll meet you for row eight. Okay, we're switching colors again for row eight. Going to trim our yarn and then we'll go through the front stitch. Bring in our candy cane lane yarn, pull through in a slip stitch and then tie together our two loose ends. I'm going to save as much of this candy cane lane yarn as possible. Sometimes I get to the end and I'm making the palm and I've just barely not enough uh, for a palm. So I want to make sure we're good. Okay, trim these down. For row eight, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a chain two and then double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Gosh, this one gives me so much grief sometimes. There we go. Make sure you don't skip that stitch though. Sometimes it's hard to see. You can just go up from the others and make sure you're getting in the first one there. And then double crochet all the way around. Pretty simple. So I'll meet you for row nine. We're going to keep the color, but we're going to switch up the stitch. So I'll meet you there. And just like that, I ran out of my candy cane yarn, but no need to worry. I'm hoping this skein has enough for the palm on top. Roll this up, you know the drill. I'll switch out my yarn and then meet you when it's time to join. All right, so continuing with the candy cane color, we're going to join like we did before in the front loops with a slip stitch. Now we're gonna switch out our nine millimeter hook for our eight millimeter hook and finish off the beanie with this. And just like before, we'll chain two, but this time we're going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. So yarn over, and then we're going to go behind the post, like so. Pull the yarn through, and then just finish like it's a regular double crochet. Okay. For the next one, we're going to go through the back. So I like to push back the actual chain or um, post, excuse me. Um, you have to go behind the post so it's popped out like that. And then pull through so you have three loops on your hook. And then finish your double crochet like usual. And then you just keep all alternating that back and forth. Front post, double crochet. Okay, and then back post, double crochet. I'll we'll do it one more time, slowly. Front post, so you have to make sure the whole post is on the front of your hook. You're going to pull underneath the post. You'll have three loops. Pull through two, and pull through two. For the back post, chain over, push the post back, and you want to have your hook underneath the full back post. Pull through, so you have three on your hook, pull through two, pull through two more. We'll repeat that all the way around. Hello, puppy. And I'll meet you at the end. And then we are actually going to switch colors for the last row. We're going to do exactly the same thing we just did, but we're going to do it in the cream color. So we'll cut this off. And now we're done with the candy cane color until it's time to make the palm. So just like before, we'll go in the front two loops and pull through 
our new yarn into a slip stitch. Go through and tie these together. But we want to just make it a little snug here. Okay. Give these a little extra security. And then we are ready for the final round. Row 10 is the same as row nine. We start with a chain two. And then we follow the previous round. So wherever there's a front post double crochet, you go right into the previous one. And then double crochet all the way around. Find the back post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, and then continue and I'll meet you at the end. We'll tie in our ends and we'll make our palm. All right, we made it to the end. We're just gonna join like usual by doing a slip stitch. And then I'm gonna pull through one more time and then cut the end. And then you guys can thread this in however you choose. I am so extremely lazy. And instead of using a threading needle, I simply weave with the hook. I'll just weave it in and out and back in and then we're going to go up the chain. It's actually one of the back post double crochets. I'll weave it up once or twice And then instead of pulling this all the way through, I will actually leave it as a loop and pull in the end, turn it into a knot. And then like before, I separate the yarn and then I will weave one end in to another part of the chain up here. like so. I'll just pull one of them through. That way I can make a knot with the two separate pieces. This time you just have to pull gently because they will rip and break if you pull too hard. And then that is that. We'll turn the ends and make the palm on the top. So for the palm, we're going to use the candy cane yarn. I like to use the jumbo palm maker for the adult size hats. It even looks cute with the child size hat. It's like a gigantic poofy palm on their head, like it's adorable. Or you can use a smaller one and do the bear ear palms. That's also super duper cute. You can make them for the whole family. Like I said earlier, um, I have a pattern for all the different sizes in a link in the description if you'd like. It's $5. Might be on sale right now if you caught the Black Friday sale. Um, I also have a video tutorial for the adult small to medium size. So I guess I wasn't really explaining what I'm doing, but basically you just wrap the candy cane lane yarn around here. I always get nervous and think that I'm going to run out of the candy cane color because I like to make my palms nice and thick. I think they just look better when you wrap around a bunch of times. So I like to go once over and then make sure I go in between and just wrap it around till you think it's thick enough. I do love a poofy palm, not gonna lie. 
So I kind of just go in between the last ones I made. And then I'll fill in any gaps that I see, like so. Okay, close it up. And then cut this off. I cut it close, so I need all that candy cane lane yarn possible. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. I like to hold the yarn on the top and then wrap it around a couple times. And that one spot holds it snug. And then it didn't really hold it snug that time, but it's all good. And then I just go around. If there's too much of a gap, I'll just scooch them over. And then try and fill in all the gaps on the way back. Kind of give it a once over. There we go. Now, speaking of wanting to have as much of the candy cane yarn as possible, I actually um, I'm gonna need about a foot long or more piece of yarn. So I actually I'll use the cream color for this part because it's not going to show. Because I always have extra cream yarn, and I want to save this for another palm if I need it in the future. Okay, so you have your 12 to 18 inch piece of yarn, and then we're just gonna go through and cut down the middle, like so. And then do the same thing on the other side. There's something very satisfying about this. I don't know what it is. Okay. Now we'll take this piece of yarn. It's going to go through here. I'll we'll bring it up and we're going to tie this as tight as possible. Give it a good snug. Give it a flip. Do the same thing. And then one more time. You might want to make this little piece of yarn a little longer so it's easier to manage, but I've done this a million times, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. So you're going to keep these out. Open it up. I like to give it a little ruffle and then go through and there will be a few pieces that need to be trimmed. So just anything that's sticking out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't really like that little fuzzy guy. So I'm going to give him a little haircut like so. There we go. And then, I mean, let it be wild and free. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if there's one of these guys sticking out, they gotta go. They just gotta go. All right, now we're going to attach the palm to the hat. All right, so what I like to do is find the back of the hat and that's where we joined. You can kind of see how there's a seam in the back. So I take my eight millimeter hook we're gonna bring it up and see where the back is. I count one, two, three on one side and then three on the other side. And we'll pull one of these little guys through and then again on the other side, we'll pull the other one through. Just makes it nice and level and secure. So we're, we have three pieces of yarn. We have the two we just pulled through, and then we have the one we started with. I'm gonna give that a good tug. I like to tie the two new pieces together. And then we're just gonna take turns tying these into knots. Just get them really snug. All right, and then 
tie it up. And then keep in mind, these beanies will be a little snug on your head at first, but they stretch out quite a bit. That is normal. That is natural. It's just all a part of the beanie process. So don't be alarmed. It's a little snug on your head. The first couple wears, it will stretch out. And then if you do have a lot of hair or like to wear a more loose beanie, try this size. Oh, that is adorable. It's just adorable. How cute. So we've got one with the red topper. We've got one with the white topper. Either way you want to make it, they're both extremely cute and they take one skein of the same yarn. Happy crocheting. I hope it turned out well. Tag me on Instagram, Montana Dana. If you made this beanie, I would love to see it and happy holidays.